If you are planning a career or starting a hobby that requires a knowledge of electronics, one of the first and most important concepts you should learn is Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is commonly expressed as V equals I times R. V equals IR. This is a simple equation that shows how current, voltage and resistance are related. V represents voltage, I represents current, and R represents resistance. If you are familiar with manipulating an equation like this, you will know that we can state that I equals V over R or R equals V over I. Voltage, sometimes called electromotive force, can be thought of as the force moving the current. The unit of voltage is the volt, represented by the symbol V. Current is a flow of electric charge in a circuit. The rate of flow is measured in amperes, sometimes stated as amps, represented by A. Resistance is electrical resistance to current moving in a circuit. The unit of resistance is the ohm represented by the Greek letter Omega. Here's a simple example using Ohm's Law. I have connected a resistor to a battery pack and I would like to calculate how much current is flowing in this circuit. The battery pack consists of four 1.5 volt AA batteries connected in series. This pack should produce about 6 volts. The label on the resistor states that this is a 33 ohm resistor. Let's take the resistor out of the circuit and use a meter to actually measure the resistance. They can vary a bit from the stated value. Our meter confirms that this resistor has a resistance of 33 ohms. With the resistor back in the circuit, I'll measure the voltage drop across it. The voltage drop across this resistor is 5.85 volts. Now that we know voltage and resistance, we can use Ohm's law to determine how much current is flowing in the circuit. We will use I equals V divided by R. Current equals voltage divided by resistance. We know that R is 33 ohms and V is 5.85 volts. Substituting, our formula becomes I equals 5.85 volts divided by 33 ohms. Doing the division, we determine that I equals 0.177 amperes. Small currents like this are usually expressed as milliamperes, one one thousandth of an amp. In this case, we have 177 milliamps. Ohm's law predicts that 177 milliamps of current will flow in this circuit. Let's use our meter to actually measure the current flowing in this circuit. When measuring current, this type of meter is connected in series with the load. Our meter gives a reading of 171 milliamps, very close to our actual calculation. The tiny difference occurs because of fluctuations in our power supply and accuracy tolerances in the meter. So that's Ohm's Law. If you know two of the values associated with a load in a circuit, you can calculate the third. This law is very useful. It is often necessary to determine current flow before constructing a circuit. LEDs, for instance, have a narrow current tolerance. Ohm's Law allows you to calculate the proper resistor to use with a specific power supply and LED. Remember to follow all safety procedures if you are building and testing electronic circuits. Electricity can be dangerous. For more science and technology related projects, visit our website, hyloroad.com. Follow the projects link.